Welcome to this guided meditation about how to change the world with creativity and visualization. In order to change the world in a substantial way, we need to do things that have never been done before. And that means we need to dig into our own creative genius zone to draw out that special thing we have inside us. And in order to get the ideas and the innovations and the energy it takes to change the world, we need a vision, a visualization of the beautiful world we are creating. And with meditation and a creative guidance, we can draw in to the universe's creative energy and tap into the source and the intelligence and the energy in the world and direct that through our being, through our thoughts, through our hands, so we can make things in the world that can have a positive impact and we can achieve our life's greatest meaning and purpose and contribution. To prepare for this meditation, make sure that you're sitting somewhere quiet and comfortable. You can be lying down or sitting in a chair. Make sure that you've had enough water to drink and you're not going to experience any interruptions. By making sure that we're relaxed, comfortable and uninterrupted, we can get our brain into the delta state of brainwaves, which makes the mind extra impressionable to positive images and ideas and learning. We're going to start with a body scan meditation to go through every part of your body to ensure that it's relaxed and you're not holding tight thoughts or emotions. And so you'll be able to channel the universal creative force through your own body. Let's start with your feet. Bring your attention to your feet. Let them relax. They've walked around and carried you a long way. Just imagine an energy or a light moving through them and just letting peace and tranquility move through this wonderful biological machinery that does so much for you. And now think about your calves. Imagine this energy a color, it could be a rainbow, many colors, moving through your calves and just breathe in and breathe out and feel this color and this light and spaciousness move through that part of your body. Breathe in and breathe out. and feel the tranquility and the universal intelligence move through those muscles. Now focus on your thighs. Imagine light and energy moving through your thighs, cleansing them of any emotional tightness. You may have been holding on to something that's difficult this week, you might be clenching and let the light and the energy, let it make that tension fall away. And take a deep breath in and breathe out. And imagine that beautiful glowing light of different colors moving through all of your legs now. Bring your attention to your abdomen. Think of a, a ray beam of bright white light that scans from your pelvis bone all the way up, up past your abdominals, past your ribs, to your heart and to your lungs. And imagine coming through this ray of light is intense healing energy. And imagine this light scanning up all the way up your abdominals up to your collarbones and then scanning back down again and the white line of light scans back up again and just feel it healing any bit of tension or emotional energy or stress that you're feeling in your organs and then it goes back down again and the ray of light moves back up again from your pelvis to your hips, past your belly button, and it's healing 
every cell in the trunk of your body. Now take your awareness to your left arm and imagine the swirling energy and light moving through your arm, down your arm, down your forearm, into your left hand and let your left hand hang open. Let every bit of stress and tension fall away from your left hand. Imagine this beautiful swirling light and energy moves now to your right arm, through your shoulder, your arm muscles, down to your elbow, to your forearm, healing and relaxing the muscles and the blood vessels and the capillaries inside and letting all the tension drop from your right hand. Now this swirling white light moves up through your lungs and through your throat and through your neck and you feel the beautiful, healing, creative and intelligent force of the universe moving through your throat, up through your chin and up through your entire mind, through your face, up to the crown of your head. And at the top of the crown of your head, it bursts open into a bright star of white, beautiful, warm, glowing light. Through your whole body is swirling universal energy. Inside you is calm, and peaceful and safe. And now breathe this energy through you and back out again. Take a deep breath in. Imagine this energy swirling around, moving, healing, glowing. And now breathe out. And again, breathe it in. Make it brighter and lighter and more colorful and now breathe it out. You have filled your body with the energy of creation through all the muscles and the bones of your whole self is lit up like the aurora borealis, like a rainbow of energy. And with this energy, you'll be able to use it to make incredible positive changes in the world. As you scan through your body and feel this beautiful feeling of this light moving through you, feel if there's anything troubling you or any negative emotion coming up. Anything that might have hurt you, might have made you feel ashamed, something that you're struggling with right now, a block that's in front of you, bring that into your mind. And now feel where you feel this emotion in your body. You might feel tension in your heart, or you might feel a bit sick in your stomach, or you might feel restricted in your throat. All the emotions that we have are felt as physical sensations in the body. Bring all of your attention to this part of your body and this physical feeling of the emotion. The way that we release the stronghold of negative emotions in our body is by concentrating on them and letting them speak to us and then letting them leave us permanently. So put all of your focus on this feeling. And now imagine a dial volume and increase the volume on this sensation. You wanna really fully feel it. It's a bit like having a wound and needing to dig into it in order to get a part of gravel out so you can let the wound heal. And don't be afraid of fully feeling the emotion. The emotion won't hurt you. It's trying to tell you something so it can leave and dissolve back into the universe. Focus on making this feeling as strong as you can. Move the dial on the volume up higher so you can feel it even more. Feel how much this situation 
is hurting you right now and take five deep breaths into this feeling and if it's very strong that's okay just sit with it and keep feeling it keep letting it tell you what it needs to tell you so breathe in and breathe out and breathe in breathe out and again deep breaths into this part of your body where you can feel the tension and the shame and the hurt and again this feeling is trying to tell you something what you need to do now is listen closely to it and it has a message so imagine this part of your body and the pain or the tension that you're feeling in it it has something to say now let it say what it needs to say to you don't try and run from it just listen and listen fully and imagine that this emotion it's trying to tell you something that hurts is a small child and the small child is you your emotion is your child self that's trying to tell you something in order to help you and to help protect you and your role is to listen to what that child is trying to tell you and do something about it do something that's going to make your life better and resolve this issue and now that this child has told you what it's trying to tell you imagine this child curls up and you hold the child close and he or she absorbs back into your body into your chest and says thank you for listening to me and now that you've focused on this part of your body on this emotion the light that you've generated through all the muscles and the organs in your body, this universal creative flow, this aurora borealis of beautiful lights comes around this area and infiltrates and heals and percolates through the pain and starts to heal it and it takes it away. The pain is now dissolving, the light is healing it. Your inner child is so grateful that you focused on this area and listened to him or her and now the area can be healed and the issue can be closed and you can move on. Imagine all of the lights moving around that area now. Put extra energy into it. You're drawing extra energy from the universe into the part of you that was just recently suffering, that was hurting and the light is glowing brighter and brighter and you feel all of the cells in that part of your body open up and radiate love and positivity now we're going to open up to channeling the universe's creative energy through us inside you is a special creative genius that loves to get out and play that loves to create beautiful things and to make the world better and in order to let this creative genius out we need to tap in to the universe's creative energy. There is energy all around us that wants us to make the world a better place. It's in the atoms, it's in the chemicals around us, it's in every tree that is growing, in every new baby that is born, in the fish, in the sea, in the solar system. It's everywhere and we can't stop this creative force making beautiful things. All we can do is offer ourselves as tools to channel this creative energy through us and use it to make the world more beautiful and more amazing. Imagine all through your body, your body now that is full of this light and these colors is full of tubes and straws. These are energetic tubes that go from the back of you through to the front of you. 
and each tube taps in to the universe's creative energy, draws it through you and magnifies it and channels it through your ideas and through your hands for what you can make. So imagine behind your head, across your back, across your legs are these tubes that go up, up into the atmosphere, into space and they draw this creative light down through you. There is an infinite amount of it. The universe is full of this energy and it is looking for people like you who have these open tubes ready to suck it in. So imagine it's coming down into you, it's coming through you and it comes through your body and it sets your body alight in the most beautiful way. You feel these tubes of energy running down through your neck, through your spine, out through your heart, down your arms, into your fingertips, down your legs, into your toes, and you are completely invigorated with this energy that has now set you ready to do something incredible with your life that's going to make the world a much, much better place. This energy that runs through you is almost like a magical power. This is the creative force of the universe and you are the tool for which it will flow through. Now we're going to imagine what you are going to use this energy for. Imagine that you wake up in the morning and this energy is flowing through these tubes in your body and there's been an idea that you've always wanted to do, something that you always wanted to work on that you, you've been putting off. What is this idea? And now imagine you wake up in the morning and this energy is flowing through your fingertips and you jump straight onto it. You're making the idea happen. Imagine the white light coming through your fingertips. It's coming through your eyes. It's coming through the way that you speak. And you're making this thing happen. You're building it. You're having conversations on the phone about it. You're getting emails about it. You're seeing it come true. You're getting funding for this idea. And imagine yourself having completed this beautiful project that you've been wanting to do for so long. And imagine what person you will be when this project is completed. And now feel how this person, this future you, feels. Imagine what it feels like to be in the creative flow of this beautiful idea of yours. And imagine the bright creative light of the universe moving through you, moving through these big tubes, these big straws that you're putting out, out into the stars, into the universe. And the universal energy is so happy that it's been able to get through to you, that you've been receptive and it's been able to help you make your idea come true. And now that you've spent a beautiful morning working on your concept, and feeling in creative flow, you look around at your home and your home exists in the world, the way that you want the world to be. Your home is completely environmentally sustainable. It's ethically made. The community that you live in is the best that humanity can possibly be for this time on earth. You walk out the front door and you walk down the street and now Imagine what the world would look like when humanity had reached its greatest point in civilization. How does the street look? What is the street made of? What type of cars are people driving? And what type of fuel do they use? Or maybe they're not driving cars at all. You walk down the street and look at different stores. And in this world, the age of pollution, of exploitation, of toxic chemicals has come to an end. You walk past a cafe and a coffee shop and what does it look like? How does it work? How does this world work when humanity has just gotten it right? You walk down the street further and a park that was once barren and unloved is now filled with a community garden. In this community People are growing their own food locally. There's no such thing as trash cans because trash and plastic just doesn't exist anymore. 
People around you look happy and healthy. The buildings are beautifully designed. They're beautiful colors. You feel so lucky and privileged to be able to be a part of this community and live in this world. And you have made a special contribution to this world. Your idea has come true and your body and your mind is completely open to channeling the creative energy of the universe through you and combining that force with your own special unique creative genius to implement your ideas and your concepts and your dreams to make this world come true. You are infinitely appreciative to be a part of this world and all the people in this world are infinitely appreciative of the work that you did to make your ideas happen, to make this world the beautiful place that it is. You walk a bit further down the street and now you're going to step in to another world that hasn't yet been so beautiful and enlightened. But as you walk through into this other world, the universal creative energy gives you a little basket. And this basket is full of universal creative glitter dust. And this special dust allows you to seed your ideas and your creativity into the world. And the universe wants this to happen. It wants this world with the problems in it that's suffering to get better. So it gives you this basket and now you step through and then you see that the streets are cracked, people look unhappy, there's pollution, there's waste, the government is not working very well, there's not enough to go around, there's not many trees and there's no flowers. The food is unhealthy and you can feel that this place really could do with some love and attention. Instead of looking around and feeling frustrated and angry and disempowered and looking to blame somebody, you realize that you have the power in you to do something about it because all through your body you have connected to the great creative force of the universe and you have the ability to channel it through you, through your body, out through your eyes, your voice, your legs, your toes and your fingertips to change this world and to make it better. Imagine that you feel the energy running through you and you feel that you have this special gift now to make this world better. And you've got this little basket that you're carrying. You dig your hand into the basket and pull out this glittering light. What it is, is these are seeds of creative energy. You're holding them like a handful of wheat seeds or sunflower seeds to grow. And they're sparkling and glittering. And wherever you throw them, beautiful things will flower. So you walk down the street and you see a bit of ground that's barren and has some weeds and some trash. You throw a bit of the creative glitter down and then magically up comes a beautiful flower bed and some tomatoes and an orange tree. And kids around come and start picking the oranges and the tomatoes. You see a broken building with boarded up windows. It looks sad and depressing. And then you think, what could this building be? What potential could this place have? The idea comes to you and you throw a bit of creative sparkle dust at this building and then you watch it change. It transforms into that place that you just imagined. You walk down a little bit further and you see some people looking unhealthy and tired and sad, waiting for the bus. And then it comes to you, you can see what these people need. What idea comes to you that you think these people need? And then using your own creative energy, you sprinkle some of this dust near them that gives them what they need to make their lives better. So you keep walking. At the end of the road, you can see City Hall. You can see the government building. There's all sorts of problems going on in this building. There's money problems, there's corruption, there's the wrong sort of people in power. You walk up to this building and look at it and channeling the creative energy through you, you think, what needs to change here? What does this building need to turn into? 
and you see a vision for what the ultimate and beautiful government and city hall should be. The type of people who are elected, the type of democracy, the type of technology, the type of empathy, the type of support that goes on in this building. And then, taking a handful of energy that you have in your basket, you throw it at the city hall and then you sit back and you watch, feeling the energy come through your body, coming through your hands, of how you can help heal this building and heal this institution to turn it into the type of government that you want to see in the best incarnation of human civilization. And you walk back towards the door that takes you back into your own beautiful world, sprinkling your creative energy along the ground as you go. And you see flowers jump up where there was trash before. You see the streets getting cleaned. You see people that were unhealthy and depressed, looking suddenly healthy and happy. And you look back along the street and you realize that you have the power to change this world. You look at how much good you've done. You look at the confidence that it took you to dig into your own creative basket and to channel it through you and to give it as a gift to this world. And you look at all the people that you've walked past and how happy and appreciative they are that you made their world that much better. And you look back up to the creative universal energy and thank it and feel the appreciation for what a beautiful experience it was to be used as a tool to channel this universal creative energy through you so you could do good in the world and make the city more beautiful and make the people happier and make the world overall a better place. Now you open the door and you step back into the beautiful world of where we started and you walk down the street and see everywhere signs of how your idea has come alive and has made the world better. You feel the peace and the confidence that comes from making an idea come alive. And you feel deeply centered in yourself that you've been utilizing your own special creative genius. So you walk down the road and go to a park. It's a beautiful park with beautiful lush green grass and an incredible tree. It's just the right temperature. There's flower gardens around you. And you sit under this tree and you close your eyes and you think inward into this area inside you that is your own special creative genius. And this area is this one gift that you have that nobody else in the world has. And everybody has this special creative genius zone because everybody's DNA is different and everybody's life story is different and everybody is born in a different time. So when we put together your unique DNA, your unique life story and the unique time and date in which you were born, that makes your whole being completely unique and that enables you to have this special creative genius zone specific to you and it has a special role to play. In your mind's eye, Look in to your abdomen, deep inside yourself, and imagine this ball of energy that is your creative genius. Think through what color light it is, or maybe it's lots of colors. And imagine holding this orb inside you. And this creative genius zone will tell you what it wants you to do. What does it want you to do? What is the one special skill that you have that you need to get out there into the world. If you were to spend every day working within your creative genius, what would you be doing? How would you be sharing this gift with the people around you? How would your creative genius zone make the world a better place? How would it share beauty and love with everybody around you. Now imagine yourself doing this special skill. Imagine yourself immersed in the complete mastery of this skill. Imagine yourself making the thing that you need 
can make to use your creative genius and make something fabulous in the world. Imagine the person that you will be when you've completely embodied your creative genius. You've created and made something beautiful and you're sharing it with the people around you. Imagine how happy people are when they're experiencing the things that you make through your creative genius zone. Imagine what the streets and the buildings and the cities look like once you've been able to share your special creative genius zone with the world. Imagine the smile on your face. Imagine what your posture is like. Imagine how satisfied and proud of yourself you are when you've made this dream for this idea, for this project come alive and you feel truly deeply satisfied that this idea and this project came from within your own special creative genius zone. And now imagine this idea, this thing you've made sitting in front of you as if it's real, as if it's already happened. It's here. And the person that you have become in order to unleash your creative genius and make it happen is here too. You now are that person. You're happy, you're inspired, you're doing the thing on the earth that you know you need to be doing. You're doing the thing that you always wanted to be doing. And you know that when you do this thing, nobody else can do it quite like you. And you feel the creative energy of the universe flowing through you, flowing through the tubes in your body, flowing through you like a rainbow of colors, like the aurora borealis, and coming out through you in a beautiful, glowing harmony. And the universe and the solar system, the stars, the moon, the planets, the people, the trees, the continents, the oceans, they all whisper to you, thank you. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for letting us share the energy that we have with you. And thank you for making your ideas come to life. And you take a deep breath. And with a resounding appreciation, you say thank you back to the earth and to the universe for giving you this energy. And with great appreciation, and gratitude. You feel the energy moving through you and I'm going to count from five up to one and then you'll open your eyes as this whole new creative force. Five, four, three, two, one. Open your eyes and feel the rainbow of energy moving through you. This is the new creative you. Full of flow, full of energy, full of light and ready to do beautiful things in the world in harmony and synchronicity with the great universal creative force. <laughs>